So today my blog is going to be about the advantages and disadvantages of having dogs as requested by a very very dear friend of mine in Switzerland um, so they, this is her choice and it, this is in response to her what are the advantages and disadvantages of having dogs and I think I'm gonna have to relate it to my own dogs because that's my experience so this one has Lukey I've had him for one and a half years now 31st of October 2015 is when I found him at a dog rescue place and he was there moaning oh, take me with me take me with me and this one I've had for almost a year yeah in three weeks time he will have been here for a year this one yes that's it and that's really an advantage especially Muffy because for the first six seven months every time you touched him he would react really badly and he'd think you'd hit him and he was a stray dog he's from Ireland and he was very very shy towards humans not towards dogs he was always excited for seeing dogs but this what he's doing now him stroking this only has started about two months ago so it took us a long time for him to just start trusting me and learning that humans can be kind um, so that definitely counts as an advantage. They're very loyal. Um, they come and wake me up in the morning. Well, actually, that's not strictly speaking true. They come and peep their nose through the door and see whether I'm awake. And if I'm not stirring, then they will just go downstairs into their baskets again. And that's really lovely I mean they could just jump on top of me and wake me up but they don't so they really respect my space which is really really lovely and there's just pure love and also of course they're very very forgiving because I sometimes do have to tell them off a bit uh, although I try to bring them up by rewarding good behavior and ignoring bad behavior but that's not always possible um, so when I do tell them off it takes just 30 seconds and then they're back um, I'm just gonna go and um, get another coffee because my throat is a little bit dry you're gonna come in Lukey come on then so today I just want to show you pictures of my dogs rather than me um, so here we go, that's the coffee machine, noisy coffee machine. So the advantages are really that they're loyal friends, they're lovely, they belong so much to the family, um, they're very forgiving, they give you lots of pleasure. Lukey sometimes is out here and he chases his tail, goes round and round and round and round and round and round. It is lovely to see them play, chase each other around the garden. It means I can't grow very much apart from in pots, but it's just just pure pure joy to see them. And yeah, so they're probably the most loyal inhabitants of my house they're probably more loyal than I am <laughs> so that that's definitely an advantage disadvantages are maybe the costs um, yep I just had to go to the vets and had a big bill yesterday 138 pounds for x-ray x-raying his foot it's not as swollen today is it Lukey look at that it's going down and he's already better so yeah, costs if you want to go away on a holiday. Although I try to turn that into a positive point by just going to places where I can drive and I can take them with me. Because alternatively, I'd ha they'd have to go into a kennel. Now I'm planning to go to the to the USA out of all places in the summer. 
but that means they'd have to go into a kennel for um, maybe two or three weeks, which isn't very nice at all for them. So that's definitely a disadvantage. Um, so they're a little bit like small children in that sense that they can't really be without you. So far, they've only been out of the house, uh, sorry, in the house on their own for about half an hour. And then I give them these bones. Um, well, they're here they are. And they've, that's, uh, so they're, they're filled with a mixture of animal fats and, and porridge oats. Um, which I've got a pot of here in the fridge somewhere. Where is it? Oh, down here. Yeah, that's it. Doesn't look very appetizing, but it's very good. So they have to try and get this, which is very tasty to them, out of the bone. Um, and they do a good job. It's fairly clean here. Um, so I do that when I go to the local um, shop, for instance. But it's never more than half an hour, and normally by the time when I come back, they're still gnawing on their bones. So they, they're not really suitable for leaving alone. I know lots of people leave their dogs at home and they go to work, um, but these dogs are not really made for that, um, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a disadvantage. Um, yep, then also I can show you in my garden, oops, I've completely forgot about the coffee. Um, yeah, so they, they obviously do their business as well, they leave droppings. That is also a disadvantage, for instance here, there's a wee that Muffy did yesterday, which I had to clean. Um, um, but, yeah, because he seems to have a, a bladder that's uh, not as robust as Lukey's, because Lukey doesn't wee inside anymore, or poo, he just keeps it and waits till we go outside. Um, but yes, the sort of cleaning in the house is not very pleasant, so that's a bit noisy, this machine. So let's go out and have a look at another, well, in relation to their droppings, a disadvantage. Um, so I clear their poos every two or three, sometimes four days. And this is, this is what they give me in that time. So I haven't done it for three days, so that's what I find. But that's okay, I can compost it because they mainly eat vegetables. Here you can see their dog food. So today it's vegan dog food um, with just vegetables, grains, uh, lentils, and dried apple, and rice. And actually there's also some uh, pearl barley in there. So I can compost the, their poo, which is makes life easier. So that saves them having doggy bags and things like that. That's right, you see? You were waiting for me, huh, to come back in. That's so lovely of you. That's so I'll go grab my coffee. Um, so yes, that advantages, disadvantages. Yeah, restriction when you travel, unless you take them with you. Um, dog kennels, I really don't like because they are in a small space for weeks on end, however long you go. It costs a lot of money. The cheapest one I found is £38 per day for both of them. So if you go for two weeks, <laughs> then that will set you back six, £700. And, and you know that they didn't really have a good time because they don't have a garden as big as this. The one I found has got a, a sort of running area maybe as big as here. But, yeah which they have access to, but, and it's all gravel, so probably not so nice to walk on for them. So uh, I've only had them there once when 
my daughter asked me to come and accompany her to a 21 pilots concert in Alexandra Palace in, uh, in London. So they were in there overnight. I brought them there at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and picked them up at 8 next morning. But it wasn't very nice because they both pooed on their bedding, which I supplied. So, you know, yeah, I would have expected them to clean it, um, but they didn't. So, no, that's that's a, definitely a, dis a disadvantage. They're, they're like two children, two small, smallish children, really. They, they need you all the time, these two beauties. So, yes, um, Lukey, he belonged to an old man, an 85-year-old man. He had Lukey and Sol, his brother, who looks exactly like him, apart, apart from that he's brown rather than beige, like Lukey. Um, hopefully, one day I can show you a film how they're running around, and that's, that's so lovely. That is just so lovely. When they walk around, when they run around which is really what they were bred for, for hunting. Right, I think that's it. So from, from Lukey and from Muffy, we say goodbye.